Hello and welcome everyone. It's my hope that you are okay and you are doing well. Uh, in what we call uh, collaboration and working together among African countries, uh, the young leader of Burkina Faso has shown the way after welcomed uh, Ethiopian delegation. Uh, the aim and the objective of uh, the meeting was to discuss the technical and professional training of young people in the fields of engineering and industrial development. Uh, so kings and queens, uh, you see that Africans, if we can work together, we can find solutions of our challenges. That's why we have been uh, addressing African solutions for African uh, challenges or African problems. We have solutions. We have uh, answers of our uh, problems. The problem that we have is not about challenges. The problem is that Africans, we are not working together. We are not collaborating. We are waiting others to give us solutions. And those solutions are for the benefit of those who are bringing those solutions. We have seen that many solutions has failed in the continent of Africa. Solutions that have uh, came from outside. So this time you see this young leader and the president of Burkina Faso, Captain Ibrahim Traoré, has decided to say we have been sent uh, our fellow young people, people into um, a blood to seek solutions. So this time let us try to collaborate among Africans. If you have solution in Nigeria, let us invite Nigerians to bring solutions. If you have solutions in South Africa, invite South Africans to get those solutions. If we, we have solutions in Dakar, in wherever, in the, within the continent, we can uh, invite them and see how we can solve uh, our challenges. So Captain Ibrahim Traore now has going to work with Ethiopia on the issue of technical uh, and professional training of young people in the sector of engineering and industrial development. Yesterday, I, I think I shared the video uh, concerning about how the Chinese are making money uh, through our weaknesses, especially from these small things. And I give an example of bombs that African women are so beautiful, uh, good shapes, but the Chinese who are supposed to buy uh, bombs from us, they are selling bombs to our African mothers and sisters. So if you look at the shapes of the Chinese and Africans who need to buy bombs, I think it is the Chinese are supposed to buy bombs from Africa. So things is vice versa. The flat screen Chinese, they are selling African bombs. So you see, so I think the time has come uh, to see how we can collaborate to make sure that we can produce uh, or we can, we can consume what we produce. And, and that's what Captain Ibrahim Traore is trying to, uh, to do. Uh, not only pre, uh, President Traore, I wish other African leaders uh, to take the same path uh, to invest in uh, young people, to believe in young people. One thing that has shocked me, uh, when I see uh, leaders in Burkina Faso, I, I, I found young people, young people in Burkina Faso, are those who are in leadership. So why, why Captain Ibrahim Traore trusting young people? It's because young people, they have a, a long lifespan. If they promise us lies, uh, after 10 years, we can uh, ask them. But these leaders who are tired, hold men, after 10 years, you cannot ask them. They will be uh, tired. So I think we need even this, uh, what we call uh, Agenda 2063 have been um, suggested that we need to bring this agenda 2063 to young people. Let this agenda be on the table of young people. The young people can learn this agenda because by the, 20, uh, by the year 2063, many of these young, young people will be there. 
but these old men and women some of them will not be there so whatever they can uh, work for it or no they, they know they will not be there so they are not uh, concentrating on improving uh, or uh, achieving agenda 2063 why because they will not be there so let us give the chance to young people and that is what captain Ibrahim Traore is doing uh, it is a time for we the people of Africa young people if you, we are elders like me or like others please give the chance to uh, young people to lead us to give their ideas um, you know the good example is even captain Ibrahim Traore uh, he, he came to power I think two years ago uh, you see what he has done but we have leaders who have in power for more than 30 years to hold but they have done a little they have changed a little even those who have doing well for instance we have been taking for example Rwanda Rwanda is moving very well under the leadership of President Kagame um, Uganda now Uganda is manufacturing cars but let us ask the age of uh, uh, President Kagame when he came to power uh, for the first time in Rwanda. Let us ask the age of uh, Yoel Kaguta Museven when he came to power uh, at that time for the first time. You can find that at that time they were young. So at the age of 30s or uh, 20s and that's why they make revolutions so the, he, you can see that the young people are those who are making revolutions today we are, are saying about uh, Captain Ibrahim Trump because he's the young people so he know that he has something to do but elders and old men and women they should advise young young people uh, they should not uh, co trying to hide and to uh, reduce oxygen to young people let us these become advisors and giving oxygens uh, oxygen to young people so that young people can come with ideas can come with um, innovation and they can learn uh, their government or they can learn um, the agendas so my dear kings and queens the aim of sharing this uh, issue is to uh, see that Africa now we are moving toward uh, a promising collaboration uh, working together among African countries and you see uh, and of course this I will not speak this uh, I will find another day the issue of peace in the continent of Africa it is very very important one thing that I don't understand is that the continent of Africa is it is totally failed to bring peace in the continent with the people of Africa can we agree that we have failed to bring peace in this continent i don't uh i don't accept this that we the people of africa we have failed totally to bring peace in this continent so maybe this uh topic will be discussed on another day but it is important to discuss the issue of peace because my dear kings and queens all these things that we see uh collaboration working together cannot be achieved if we have no peace peace is the foundation of everything we are talking about um, building infrastructures we are talking about improving uh, health care education systems all these cannot be achieved if uh, we have no peace so first of, uh, of all I think if there's something we need to address as the people of Africa first of all is the issue of peace uh, and we can achieve peace uh, by many uh, ways and of course as I said uh, this it needs another day where we will, come, uh, we will come together like this and discuss on how we can um, find solutions on the issue of peace in the continent of Africa because without peace we are going nowhere we are going nowhere all of those what we call agenda 2063 will not achieve all what we call maybe continental free trade area will become zero without peace so as the young people as the people of africa all of us in the continent and to those who are in the diaspora we need to find the time to discuss on the issue of peace and security 
uh, if we achieve peace and security i hope we'll be in the light track so kings and queens with those few words let me say thank you for your time see you next time don't forget to share our videos uh, like comment and also uh, share your views or through the comment section what is your perspective what is your thought uh, from what you heard from our video thank you for your time see you next time